Hi everyone. Let me welcome you to the 22nd session of ECT 204 Signals and Systems. In this video, we see the properties of Fourier transforms. The contents of today's presentation are your learning outcomes. Then different properties of Fourier transforms like the linearity, delay in time, transform of conjugate, transform of derivative, the convolution theorem, the multiplication theorem, the Parseval's theorem, duality theorem and the summary of understanding. So your learning outcomes are you will learn and prove the properties of Fourier transform. Now let us assume that uh, the notation uh, xt uh, or uh, uh, this uh, double arrow over uh, uh, bidirectional arrow or below f x of this denotes the Fourier transform pair that is uh, x of is a Fourier transform of xt and xt is the inverse of x of. Now uh, the linearity theorem says that uh, if the Fourier transform of x1 f is uh, x1 t is x1 f and that of x2 t is x2 f then c1 x1 t plus or minus c2 x2 t has a Fourier transform of c1 x1 f plus or minus c2 x2 f. This is a linearity. c1 and c2 are complex constants. So, uh, uh, the proof is very uh, straightforward. The Fourier transform of c1 x1 t plus or minus c2 x2 t is minus infinity to infinity c1 x1 t plus or minus c2 x2 t e raised to minus j2 pi f t dt. I can split this integral into t that is uh, uh, that is c1 minus infinity to infinity since c1 is a complex constant it can be taken out of the integral that is minus infinity to infinity x1 t raised to minus j2 by ft dt plus or minus c2 oh, minus infinity to infinity integral x2 t raised to minus j2 by ft dt. So the first integral this is uh, uh, my x1 f this is my x2 f so uh, this is c1 x1 f plus or minus c2 x2 f and that is how it is proved. It's simple and straightforward proof. Then the delay in time. If the Fourier transform of x t is x f, then if x is delayed by a tau unit, say x t minus tau, that has a Fourier transform of e raised to minus j two pi f tau into x f. So what will happen to the Fourier transform if the signal is delayed by tau units? Then the Fourier transform is multiplied by e raised to minus j two pi f tau. This proof is also very simple. Uh, uh, the Fourier transform of x t minus tau is minus infinity to infinity x t minus tau e raised to minus j two pi f t dt. Now this argument is uh, uh, since this argument is t minus tau, I I want to make uh, 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 the kernel also in t minus tau. So I add a, uh, I make this uh, e, e raised to minus j two pi. I write this e raised to minus j two pi f t as e raised to minus j two pi f into t minus tau. Now I have included an e raised to j two pi f tau. So that should be removed by division. So, I multiply this thing by e raised to minus j 2 pi f tau. Okay. Here I have added e raised to j 2 pi f tau. I removed e raised to j 2 pi f tau by, uh, by, divide, by division. So, this e raised to minus j 2 pi f tau is not a function in time t. So, it is taken out of this integral that is e raised to minus j 2 pi f tau. The remaining thing is minus infinity to infinity x t minus tau e raised to minus j 2 pi f t minus tau d to t. That is a Fourier transform of x t that is x f. So, the, 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 hence it is proved this way. That is also a simple and straightforward proof. Now, what is the transform of a conjugate? Suppose x t is a, a, a uh, suppose x t is a, if x t is a uh, complex uh, signal, and what is a conjugate of x conjugate t? So, if the uh, uh, Fourier transform of x t is x f capital x f, then x conjugate t has a Fourier transform f con x conjugate minus f. So, how, how is the proof? The Fourier transform of x conjugate t is minus infinity to infinity x conjugate t raised to minus j 2 pi f t dt. Now, I can take uh, this as a old conjugate because e raised to minus j 2 pi f t is a complex number. So, I can write this as minus infinity to infinity x t e raised to j 2 pi f t dt old conjugate. Now, what is uh, this integral? It is uh, a, a x f with f replaced by minus f. Instead of having a minus sign, it will be e raised to minus j 2 pi minus f t. So, this is uh, whatever inside this bracket, it is x conjugate f. X conju x co sorry, uh, whatever is inside this bracket, it is x of minus f. 
x of minus f this thing is x of minus f conjugate is x conjugate minus f and that is a proof now the transform of derivative suppose uh, 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 a fourier transform of xt is capital xf uh, then uh, dxt by dt has a transform of j2 pi f xf so that that proof is also very simple xt uh, we know that uh, by inverse transform xt is minus infinity to infinity x of f capital x of e raised to plus j2 by ft df this integral is in f uh, so that uh, the resulting function is in t now take the derivative uh, taking the derivative dxt by dt will be x of f is not a function of time so it is integral minus infinity to infinity x of then e raised to j2 by ft is taken a derivative so it becomes j2 by f e raised to j 2 pi f t d t. So, what is this? Uh, this is the inverse of inverse transform of j 2 pi f x f because there is a function in frequency followed by e raised to j 2 pi f t d f. This is uh, the Fourier inverse of j 2 pi f x f j 2 pi f f x uh, 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 x f. So, what does that mean? The Fourier transform of d x t by d t is j 2 pi f into x f. That is a proof. Then I have the convolution theorem. Uh, so if I have two signals x1 t and x2 t with a Fourier transform x1 capital x1 f and capital x2 f, then uh, this x1 t convolution x2 t has a Fourier transform of x1 f into x2 f. Now what does this say? Uh, that is a convolution in the time domain that appears as a multiplication in the frequency domain. If I uh, in time domain if I convolve two signals in the frequency domain uh, or uh, their Fourier transforms get uh, multiplied. So the Fourier transform of x1 t x uh, conjugate x2 t is uh, this is what, what is x1 t uh, uh, sorry x1 t convolution x2 t that is uh, uh, x1 uh, that is minus infinity to infinity integral x1 to x2 t minus 2 d to this is my convolution function up to this d to this is my convolution function integral from minus infinity to infinity x1 to x2 t minus 2 d to that is my convolution integral then that is multiplied by e raised to minus j2 by ft and integrated from minus infinity to uh, infinity over t now i can uh, manipulate uh, this equation slightly uh, i can say this is some x1 to x2 t minus 2 d to e raised to uh, uh, instead of uh, j2 pi ft i can say e raised to minus j2 pi f into t minus 2 now i have multiplied by e raised to plus j2 pi f2 so i have to divide by e raised to j2 pi f2 so i add a e raised to minus j2 pi f2 oh, here dt d2 now i can interchange these integrals like i can take out this uh, tau terms here uh, tau terms in uh, tau here that is minus infinity to infinity x1 tau e raised to minus j2 pi f tau d2 then uh, minus infinity to infinity x2 t minus tau e raised to minus j2 pi f t minus tau dt so this function is in tau and this function is in t this integral is in t so what is this this is my x1 f only thing is t is replaced by tau integral is from minus infinity to infinity so this is x1 f and what is this this is a function in t minus tau this uh, kernel is in t minus tau so this is nothing but x2 f so this is x1 f times x2 f that is a proof so a multiplication in the time domain that appears uh, uh, sorry a convolution in the time domain that appears as a multiplication in the frequency domain now this is a converse of the situation that's a multiplication theorem uh, a multiplication in the time domain that appears as a convolution in the frequency domain so if x1 and x2 t are time domain signals with fourier transforms capital x1 f and capital x2 f then x a product signal x1 t x2 t has a fourier transform of x1 f conjugate x2 f so what is the fourier transform of x1 t x2 t that is minus infinity to infinity integral x1 t x2 t raised to minus j2 pi f t dt so i can write uh, this uh, x1 t as an inverse transform say minus infinity to infinity x1 of some dummy variable u e raised to j2 pi u t du here i uh, instead of f i used u that's a uh, uh, that is to avoid any confusion so i can write uh, uh, i can put it in the previous equation and fourier transform of x1 t x2 t is minus infinity infinity minus infinity t infinity integral double integral x1 u uh, uh, x1 u e raised to j2 pi u t du x2 t raised to minus uh, j2 pi ft dt 
Now what happens is uh, uh, this becomes minus infinity to infinity x1 u. I am taking out the u component here and minus infinity to infinity x2 t raised to minus j2 pi into f minus u t dt du. Now, so what happens is here minus infinity to infinity integral x1 u and what is this? Uh, this is actually x2 f with f replaced by f minus u. This is a Fourier transform of x2 t, x2 f, but f replaced by capital F minus u. So this is minus infinity to infinity x1 u, x2 f minus u du. This what is this? This is a convolution integral. So this is a convolution between x1 and f2, x1 f and x2 f. This is minus infinity to infinity x1 u, x2 f minus u du. That is x1 f uh, uh, convolved with x2 f. So a multiplication of the frequency in the time domain that appears as a convolution in the frequency domain. A convolution in the time domain that appears as a multiplication in the frequency domain. So these are the convolution theorem and multiplication theorem. Then there is a Parseval's theorem pertaining to energy of signals. So oh, here uh, you know that uh, uh, in the, by the last uh, theorem we know that a multiplication of x1t and x2t Fourier transform of that that is equal to a convolution between x1f and x2f. Now assume that x1t is equal to x2 conjugate uh, t that is equal to xt. Suppose x1t and x2t uh, are con complex conjugate. So suppose x1t is xt and x2t is x conjugate t. Then x1 f will be uh, x, a, 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 x of f, x1 f will be uh, capital X f and x2 f will be by conjugation theorem we know that it is x conjugate minus f, x conjugate minus f. So w w what happens to this integral? It becomes uh, 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 minus infinity to infinity x t x conjugate t raised to minus j two pi f t dt. It becomes uh, uh, in the uh, frequency domain. It becomes minus infinity to infinity x u x conjugate u minus f uh, du because uh, here there is a since a, 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 x a, x two t is a conjugate of x t. Uh, x2 is uh, t is a conjugate of xt there is a negation in frequency as well as a, a complex uh, conjugate so here this x2 f minus u it becomes x conjugate u minus f du okay now you can say that uh, 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 th this uh, this uh, uh, xt x conjugate t is mod xt square so minus infinity to infinity mod xt square e raised to minus j 2 pi ft dt is minus infinity to infinity x of u x conjugate u minus f du now if i make uh, f equal to 0 if i put f equal to 0 what happens is it becomes uh, minus infinity to infinity mod xt square dt here it becomes, uh, if, if, you, if I put f equal to 0, it becomes minus infinity to infinity mod xt square dt. That will be, when I put f equal to 0, this term vanishes, uh, this f vanishes. So it is minus infinity to infinity x u, x conjugate u du. It is mod x of square. Okay. Here it is uh, minus infinity to infinity mod xt square dt is minus infinity to infinity x u x conjugate u du. That is nothing but minus infinity to infinity mod x u square du. This is nothing but uh, uh, minus infinity to infinity mod x of square df. So wh 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 what is minus infinity to infinity mod xt square that is xt square dt that is the energy of the signal. So this is the energy in the frequency domain. So the what uh, th this is uh, the famous Parseval's theorem. This says that the energy is invariant under Fourier transformation. So whatever energy is there in the time domain that appears in the frequency domain also. What is the energy in the time domain that is integral from minus infinity to infinity mod x t square. What is in the frequency domain it is minus infinity to infinity mod capital X of square d f. These two are equal. That is the energy of the signal. That is the Parseval's theorem and this is how we prove that. Then there is a duality theorem. What this says is, uh, if the Fourier transform of uh, small xt is capital Xf, then uh, small Xf is a Fourier transform of capital X minus t. Okay. What you have to understand is, I have a time domain signal small xt. It's Fourier transform of capital Xf. Then capital X minus t has a Fourier transform of small x capital F. What is my capital X of that is minus infinity to infinity X u e raised to minus j 2 pi F u du. Okay. Because uh, we uh, suppose this uh, 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 I put it as instead of T if I put a U as a dummy variable. 
So, capital X of is minus infinity to infinity, x small x u raised to minus j type by f u d u. So, replacing this uh, capital a f with a minus t, so this becomes capital X minus t, that is minus infinity to infinity, x u e raised to plus j 2 pi u t d u. Okay. This integral in this I put f equal to minus t. So, this becomes e raised to plus j 2 pi u t d u. Now, what I do is I do another trick. I replace this u with f so that it becomes minus infinity to infinity x capital F e raised to j 2 pi f t d f. Nothing is changed. Only thing is I changed u into f. The name is changed to u into f. Now, what is this right side? This the inverse transform of small x f. Okay. This is a inverse transform of small x f. Okay. Now, what this says is a x, x of minus t, capital X of minus t is the inverse of small x capital F or uh, Fourier transform of x minus capital X minus t is small x f and that is a proof of the duality theorem. That was our statement. Capital X, if x small x t has a Fourier transform of capital X f, then uh, capital X minus uh, t that has a Fourier transform of small x capital F. So, th that is what we have proved here. Now, coming to the end of this presentation, in this video, you understood and proved uh, the properties of Fourier transform, Fourier transforms. And that is the end of this presentation. I thank you all.